coming at you with the second video in my series I'm going to call Church Rants. Basically the general gist will be I will use these videos to try and talk about news that comes up in Bungie, things that maybe are hitting the internet or kind of annoying, and just general tips and advice sometimes. Maybe things are just kind of strung together. And what made me want to make this particular video was the interesting news that just came out the other day about opulence and the world's first competition so let's get right on into this one thing basically bungie came out saying hey power capping is going to be a thing so if you're trying to race and get to 750 or whatever the new max light's going to be which i'm pretty sure is 750 there's really no point because we are going to have it where there's not really an advantage to be above certain light levels i.e. the first encounter that will be capped at 700 so if you're 720 doesn't matter your character will behave as if it's 700 which i thought would be very interesting and the last encounter is capped at 720 so being above 720 really doesn't do anything it will be capped as if you were 720 anyways this is pretty significant i think because this makes it where world's first will be a much more level playing field than it was going to be uh, if you're like my clan and I, we're trying to go for a world's first attempt. And being not all of us are full-time streamers, are able to stash up on all the bounties. And I will show you guys what I think you should hang on to later on as well. But anyways, we're not able to do, everyone's not able to stash up as fast as possible. And I'm really only having to get to 720. Maybe other people are first. We're going to try and go for it. Uh, and I, I just really like it. It's exciting. It's different. Uh, I think that we're trying to the play stake something. It's not. Just you try and do to get to 720 for the season of opulence so first of all bounties make sure you got plenty of bounties saved up but which ones should you have saved so the ones that i would recommend specifically having saved would be clan bounties i'm going to try and get one more of these so that uh i can turn in three of them right off the bat and then boom there's my clan xp uh powerful reward for the week in that now just a first couple of seconds I log in I'm also gonna have at least seven bounties from the black armory saved up so that way I can turn them in and get a log and work on a frame I also want to have a couple of logs saved up as well at least one you want to have at least one log saved up so that way you can have an easy two logs so you can get two powerful weapon frames and then an armor reward with your second go so that'd be a pretty quick uh, deal the was well to get some rewards to level up real fast and then other bounties I would suggest happen is have seven of the Petra bounty daily bounties saved up and leave your eighth one for the season of opulence the, and once it drops out and complete the uh, make sure you leave the lost sector one uh, as your option so that way because that's a real fast bounty to complete then you got your eight you turn them all in then you get your powerful reward from petra for doing the eight i would also suggest that you have your bl uh, blinding well bounty halfway done so that way you can easily and quickly get the other half done just do one t3 then t4 and then that bounty is done and then you go straight into the Ascendant Challenge because even if you're doing it by yourself, Ascendant Challenges are really quick. And if you're trying to be well prepared, you probably have a fire team set up so it'll be even faster. And then boom, there's your weekly reward from doing the two weekly things from Petra. And you've already now got three fast rewards to help you level up. The other thing I would suggest you do, which is what I'm working on now, is to have a couple of the exotic quests where you're on the last step. So I already have Malfeasance and all the other exotics. So I didn't do them on all three characters. So I'm just kind of going through and working on my Malfeasance because I already got Ace of Spades to the last step. 
I'll probably try and get the last word of the last step. I might even do some grinding with Exonami's box, uh, the mysterious box. But you want to try and have some exotics quests if you have them left. Just to the last step, so that way when you hop in. And then you can test with one that's really quick. Like, I want to test it out with Ace of Spades. Because all I got to do is just go into that mission, find the 10 caches, and that's it. Just to make sure that you actually will get exotic rewards above 700. This is a, stip a guess that I had, and I've kind of seen other people suggesting it on the internet. Because we're not 100% sure that you will be able to get above 700 rewards but you might and if you are just test it out on one that'd be pretty easy for you and your fire team to do real quick and then worst case scenario you do it you get the, the exotic weapon and it didn't level you up but you didn't lose a whole lot of time and best case scenario you find out hey you can get over 700 gear from turning in these old exotic quests that you already know how to do because you've done them already and then you're already overpowered for them because you're above the light level that they were recommending at the time of the quest and so you should not have that hard of a deal with getting a bunch of powerful rewards from guns the armors are going to be more rng uh how i would suggest trying to in general get your armor and your character leveled up is decide with you and your group what characters you're going to raid with and if you have multiple characters that you do your other two characters first use the apps to trans or you know the vault to transfer over guns and then when you get to your third character when you for you start all the powerful rewards they'll be re re higher than your other ones were when you first started and you might get that 720 boost a little bit easier so that's how I would suggest getting the season of opulence, and this, I'm I'm pretty excited, guys. This is gonna this is gonna be so interesting. I'm really curious to see how this all works out. Uh, I, this, it's just a new experience. Now here's some more of the ranting. This is more of the ranting part as opposed to the the uh, I guess informational kind of stuff. What is up with uh, seeing outbreak perfected and these stinking ass ornaments? <laughs> Come on, Bungie. You're going to have all these guns like Thorn, Outbreak Perfected, Thunderlord, good old, uh, oh, what was it? Thorn, Thunderlord, Whisper of the Word, that's what I was thinking of. You're going to do things like nerf how these guns work and charge people 10 bucks. 10 bucks for one of these dang ornaments. Like, come on, Bungie. People put in an effort. I understand you want to charge money, but you really got to charge 10 bucks for a skin. Come on. Come on, I get business, I get it. Y'all, we can make off the money, or maybe ask the thing Activision set up. I don't know, but really, 10 bucks for a skin? Come on, guys. Man, I'll digress, anyway, because I kind of also get why you would do it. People pay for it, then why not? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts and how to get ready for opulence and what I liked to, um, with this whole new contest buff that came out that I think is going to be quite the game changer for Season of Opulence with the world's first attempts. Okay, so you guys have been fantastic. Thank you all so much, so much for watching. You guys are all great. I uh, appreciate all the, your views. And if you happen to like this video and like more content like it, please feel free to like and or subscribe to my video. You guys are amazing. Thank you all so much. You have a great Memorial Day weekend. Enjoy yourselves. Happy.